Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM user exit. In today's session, we will see little more detail about pre-match user exit. In today's session, we will see at which location and during which process of the MDM the pre-match user exit get executed. And what are the condition during which we can use the pre-match user exit? So let's start the today's session. Match process user exit. There are two types of match process user exit available. During the match process, the pre-match user exit, and the post-match user exit will be get executed. So we register the match job. To before execution of the match job, the pre-match user exit get executed and after the completion of the match job the post match user exit starts after completion of the post match user exit the committing of the record will happen and it will end the match job so let's see what are the steps involved what is the sequence of the execution the user exits run within the match process in the following sequence first informatica mdm hub register the match job then the pre-match user exit runs. Informatica MDM Hub runs the match job after successfully completion of the pre-match user exit. After completion of the match job, that is meant the processing the processing of the record is completed for the matching. Then the post-match user exit will run. Informatica MDM Hub commits the match changes and the, it is the end of the match job. So this is the sequence of execution of match job along with user exits. When to use pre-match user exit? To perform custom processing before the match job, we can use a pre-match user exit. Examples. Suppose we, we have the create date and the end date for the corresponding record. Based on the create date and the end date of record, we can populate the custom flag like the whether the record is active or deactive. So this is the one of the example where we can use the pre-match user exit to populate custom flag column. MDM-UE.jar provides interface for implementing pre-match user exit. The name of interface is com.informatica.mdm.userexit.prematch user exit. We need to implement this interface and override the process user exit method. The signature of process user exit method is like this. It's a return type is void. It accepts the parameter user exit context and the match set name. It also throws a generic exception and the name of exception is exception. That means the cyprian exception is wrapped into generic exception. So let's have a demo on the pre-match user exit. Let me show you what we have configured for the match process. So we are going to run the match process on the customer table. So we have configured the two match columns, one match rule set and uh, and the active match, match rule set is one. We have also configured the path which is pointing to the address which is child to the customer. The match column configured are country as a constant exact column and the person name as a fuzzy match key. Then we have defined the match rule set. The name of the match rule set is ideal, that is initial data load. And it consists of the rule. It is considered only one rule that which is pointing to the person name, having the country as a USA, that is segment match, and the person name as a fuzzy. Once we're done with that, let's see what data we have into the table. So what we'll do, I will start the SQL developer so that I can see the data. Meanwhile, we will go through the code implementation. 
So we have created one class MDM pre match user exit, which is implementing pre match user exit interface available in com.informatica.mdm.user exit package. So once we implement the pre match user exit interface, it asks to override the process user exit method. So we are going to override that, which will provide us a user exit context object and the match set object as a match set name as a string object in this today's tutorial we have just a demo demonstration on this user exit we do not have any business in arrow but what we are going to do here so we are going to just print the statements like the pre-match 001 which is start of <coughs> match user exit pre-match user exit then we'll print the table name we will also print the match rule set We'll check the match rule set name as an IDL, like the initial data load. If the match rule set IDL, then and then only this user exit will get executed. What are the logic which is implemented inside this if condition? So let's go back and see what data we have into the PO customer table. So here is the table structure. We, we can have the BO address, BO customer. And in the BO customer, we have the data, which is having the two records. So let's go and run the match job. We already run the load job. That's why we can see the data in the base object table. In order to run the match job, as we know, the pre-match job is get executed during the match process so that's why we are going to run the match job however before running the match job we have to run the tokenization job for the customer i'm running the customer uh, tokenization job for the customer let's see how many records get tokenized for this job The tokenization job is completed and here we can see there are two records got tokenized. So let's run a match job for the customer. I'm selecting initial data layer as a, a match rule set. So if you have the multiple match rule sets, then it is possible that we can have the different result for the each match rule set execution. So let's go back and check whether the match rule is successful. Yes, the match rule is successful and the match record is one and match queued for the manual merge is one because our match rule set is a manual match queue. That's why it is queued for the manual match queue. Then where we can see the logs. So you can see the logs inside the whatever we have in the C drive jboss application server go to the standalone folder logs directory and we can open this server.logs we have to go back and we have to see whether these constants one we coded we can see in this log file so log file is loading It is saying there is no record found or there is no okay so what we miss so even we have implemented the user exit but we are not deployed so that means we have to redeploy it so how to redeploy I will tell you so before deploying we need to create a jar file for that right click export And I'm giving the name as MDM UE project like one, which is residing inside this folder location. Click next, finish. It is asking me to save. So that means the file is not saved. I'm canceling this process. Let me save all these files. But again, right click, export exports as a jar 
give the name something different which is not already present next and finish it's giving some warning but that is totally fine then we have to go to the seat manager oh sorry a uh, user object registry and here we have to deploy that jar file so the location of jar file is it's a D directory and the take I believe it's E directory take deployments 10 and here is the file copy the file directory and press here select the file on which we are recently created open give the name user exit and it will deploy us all the user exit however so as we are run the matchup already let's see if the it still works so even if you run whether the user exit get executed or now or or yes let me regenerate the tokens I'm explicitly forcing uh, it to regenerate the tokens and then we will run the matchup again as per now it's a regenerated the two tokens I'm running the matchup so we know that we have already ran it and in previous run we got the one match and now it's a zero match because the records already got matched with those tokens now we will go and it is saying the whether log file need to be reloaded i will say yes file is reloaded i will do the find it is still saying because the match process will not get executed as there is no record so how can we tackle this scenario in order to tackle such scenario, we have to clean those tables, re-run the state job, load job, and the match job again. So what I'll do, I will be ready for the with the all the tables with the uh, with the lo load a stage and the load job, and then we will continue. So so far, I have cleaned the both the tables using the SOAP UI tool and then i loaded the data by running the state job for the both customer and the address and the load job for the customer and address now the match table is empty for the customer you can see that let's go back and continue our running the tokenization job and the match job so i will force this first i will clear that what are the earlier data jobs and I will execute it this time I'm not selecting regenerate all match tokens let's see but still because the data is new that's why two tokens generated I'll clear the match process first so that we can easily distinctly identify I'll select the ideal job that is initial total load and then we'll see there is one token generated I will go ahead and see whether the whatever the record we initially searched we can find there or not now this time we can see yes the pre-match user exit get executed successfully we can see the table name as view customer match rule set is ideal that is initial data layer and yes of course the processing custom logic for the match rule ideal is successfully printed so which is nothing but which is we are writing in the if condition inside the if condition that is successfully is written so this is all about the pre-match user exit in upcoming session we will see about the post-match user exit i hope this video is helpful for you if you have any questions about the informatica mdm you can mention in the video below you can subscribe my channel also for the more recent updates about the informatica mdm thank you for watching the video